Good morning. Today we're here at Jungle Gems International Market, one of the largest grocery stores in the world. It is 200,000 square feet with 180,000 products. Now we're going to have to pick and choose our battles today as we walk around and check out some of the huge spectacle of what Jungle Gems is, but it should be a lot of fun. This is one of our favorite places to visit here in Fairfield, Ohio just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. If you've never been to Jungle Gyms, it is well worth making a trip to Northern Cincinnati to check it out. Let's get to it. Now, as soon as we come up to Jungle Gyms here up front, they have a lot of animals to greet you. As you go into one of the largest grocery stores in the world, it's pretty awesome. As soon as we come into Jungle Gyms here, this is Pretty huge spectacle here. They have more Funko Pops than you know what to do with. Oh, is that Joe Burrow? Let's see. Sure is. Joe Burrow Funko Pop. That is pretty cool. All different kinds of toys and collectibles. They got different carts in the air here. All kinds of animatronics and different things. Got Harry Potter up there. That's right, folks. This is a store so big. It gets its own podcast, WJJI, Jungle Gems International Market Podcast here. They perform it right in here every Wednesday morning. You can check it out at junglegems.com backslash WJJI. Okay, so as we come back into the main grocery area, we're not going to check out too much of this stuff because I want to show what a lot of the different uh, main staples are here at Jungle Gems. A lot of this stuff, guys, is going to be very expensive. Um, Jungle Gems spends a lot of money to get products that you don't see in regular grocery stores. Uh, Crystal Geyser Water here, $1.69 for this. Just checking out a couple of these different grocery items. Look for the price magic signs if you shop at Jungle Gems for regular groceries. I don't really come here for regular groceries because, yeah, it's going to be a little more expensive than even Kroger. It's, it's a little pricey, but... You can usually find all different kinds of items here and you know other items that you can't find anywhere else here we got some different cracker products got triscuits here 2.99 and that is on the price magic deal so you're gonna pay a lot more uh if it wasn't on sale here so these kind of things yeah i don't know if it's really worth it to shop here but just wanted to point out some of the regular grocery items before we get into some of the different things that makes Jungle Gym so awesome. Now, if you live in Fairfield or Northern Cincinnati, Ohio, and you shop here a lot, I'm sure that most people shop for the deals, just like anywhere else. This is a pretty good deal, 79 cents a can for the Arizona Sweet Tea, still 99 cents here. And these have been hard to find, the actual like cans of Arizona tea, 79 cents a can here. And you know, look at this, they have so many different kinds of Arizona tea, it's crazy. A lot, of, a lot of different ones, a lot of ones you don't see in other places anymore, like this watermelon, strawberry. Got the fruit punch here. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Here's one of the Campbell's Soup animatronics that they have here. Pretty fun. You're a dog. And right under the Campbell's Soup guy. And, uh, sorry, that's kind of loud. But here we have the Campbell's Soup, and they are on sale for the 10.5 ounce cans. $1.59, save 30 cents. So they are just as much as Kroger when not on sale. So really this, you know, about the same really. But you can find different things here like golden mushroom, cream of potato, uh, cream of chicken and mushroom in one can. Jungle Jam spends extra money to order these kind of products that you can't find anywhere else. And as we go around here, they have the big cheese we'll check out here in a minute is is huge it's a huge block of cheese they have a deli here and all boar's head meats over here it is just amazing this is where jungle gyms kind of shines though you'll see things here that you've never seen but i bet you didn't know panera bread actually made all these different kinds of soups Lop lobster bisque black bean greek style lemon chicken but you're gonna pay a lot for it six dollars and 49 cents uh, for pretty much all of these even the broccoli cheddar the one that's usually $4.99 in some places $6.49 here. So 
it's really expensive but you know they do carry a lot of these different products as we move down here they have all different kinds of different fresh dips Got this right here chuck and dave's dips here 6.99 for these spinach artichoke and uh spinach dips and here's the boar's head meat counter i'll tell you what if they don't have it it don't exist there's just so much guys so much of the boar's head and prices are on a menu above but there's a lot of employees back there so we're not going to show any prices but just wanted to show how many options they do have look at all of these different olives there are so many guys this is just crazy provolone stuffed olives oh my goodness hot pitted mix right there it's unbelievable how many they have it's unreal unreal got the whole italian mix there the gimlic green kalamata wow i've never seen so many olives in one place they have all of these pre-made options too look at these cheese balls cheese balls beef and onion got some olive cheese ball blue cheese and walnut cheese ball how much are okay so this right here this is the Jungle Gems Blue Cheese and Walnut Cheese Ball right here. This is $7.99 for this one. And then they have the Beef and Onion here, $7.99 for that one. They're all $7.99 it looks like, but so many different options here. It's crazy. Look at the pasta salad. Oh, let's see how much that is. Oh, that's a very small container here, $2.34. Yeah. We are entering cheese country here with the Parmesan and Romano different Italian cheeses all around the world guys all around the world stuff you've probably never even seen before right here at Jungle Gems prices vary on everything uh, you know can look around if you've never tried any of this stuff you can see how much you're saving right here on the price magic stickers this one right here the Grana Padano $10.99 a pound on sale I guess that would normally be $15 a pound so some of these are very expensive but yeah, you know, it's it's cool to look around, check out new things from around the world, different countries. Okay, so right here I wanted to point out they have all of the different Cincinnati favorites from La Rosa's Pizza Sauce to Frisch's Tartar Sauce. Really good stuff right there. We got the Seven Hills Company here, Cincinnati Chili. Uh, you want to try Cincinnati Chili, though. You want to try um, Skyline Chili. Got the Montgomery Inn Barbecue Sauce here. Got Worth More Chili Sauce and the different mock turtle soup if that's your thing worth more uh, hot dog sauce is pretty okay $1.69 it's definitely the cheapest of them got some of the skyline hot sauce here skyline hot sauce used to be just tabasco until they came up with their own uh and then they have cans of skyline chili here here's a savings look at this $4.29 normally like over five dollars pretty much everywhere else so it is on a little bit of a savings um, and then we have Gold Star Chili. These two are rivals here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Gold Star versus Skyline. Skyline wins for me. And then they have just a regular Cincinnati Chili here. It's all Cincinnati Chili, really. That is what we do. Cincinnati Chili everywhere. And if you've never had Grippo's, Grippo's potato chips are pretty amazing. The barbecue is awesome. Uh, there's one and a half pounds for $6.09 on sale. That's actually not a bad deal. And they have the big boxes here for $14.69. These are like the smaller bags, the individual bags, which is nice because, you know, they stay fresh longer. I will say, if you've never had Grippos before, it doesn't say it on the bag, but some bags can be pretty mild. Some of them can get pretty hot, so be ready for that. And here we have the big cheese, where this cheese sits in here until it is ready to go and be cut up. The big cheese weighs in at 762 pounds. Did you know our big cheese takes three months to make before it gets here? It is then aged in our cooler until it's matured and is ready to be taken down for your enjoyment. Look at that. That is amazing. That is like their, that's like their Eiffel Tower of this grocery store. And right below it, we got part of that cheese here that you can try, even made into the state. Here, actually, I don't know if this is the same cheese or not. I just saw it was right below here, but made in Ohio, Ohio proud. Even looks like our state here. Aged cheddar cheese. Yeah, this is probably it. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. 
I've gone over all of these different cheeses in previous videos, but I'm not kidding. They have even the the countries where they're from, Switzerland, Belgium and Holland, Spain, France, special brie area here. You guys know I love my brie. Wanted to check out some of the brie here. They're expensive, but you know, this is from France right here. This little thing is from France and $7.99 for this little thing. Some of these get pretty expensive. This one here, uh, let's see. I'm really sure where that's from. And, hmm. I don't know. All different kinds of options here, though. A lot of these little French. Oh, this one's got jalapeno in it. That one's $5.99, so a little cheaper. Here at the back end, they have some different cheeses from England. We've got some from Ireland and Australia in here. Look at this. Champagne cheddar cheese here. Oh. Six dollars. Oh, six dollars and fifty cents. Okay, twenty-five ninety-nine a pound. But this piece right here is six fifty. Summerdale. Different. Uh, here's some cheeses down here from Germany. Germany up here. Look at this. Butter costs. Butter case. I'm really sure how to pronounce that. There. If you have trouble pronouncing it, it's probably pretty good cheese. <laughs> uh, this one is Jungle Jim specific, I guess. The Windmers Butter Case. $10.04 for that. Got the different uh, oh, Saxon here. Snowfields Buttercost style cheese. No price on that one. Uh, some of these, uh, the old crock sharp cheese down here. $6.99 for this one, $7.99 for that one. Where else in the world have you seen a butter bar? The best butter from Europe and America, as they claim. It is just everywhere. They got Tillamook. Not surprised there. Different butters. Look at this. Oh my. Wow. Traditional hand rolled butter right here. Farmhouse Kitchens. 16 ounces. Wow. So cool, guys. It is so worth the trip here. It, you know, I gotta admit, I'm a little overwhelmed. I've been here so many times. And I get overwhelmed in here just trying to show everything. And like I was saying before, we need to pick our battles and just check out some of the different things. You know, I want this video to be, you know, hours long for you. Here's, wow, look at that. There's the grassland butter. Grassland, salted butter right there. One pound, you got the Vermont. Vermont Creamery. Look at this. Ooh, the Minerva Dairy. That's hand rolled as well. Look at that. Look at that. That is enormous. Oh man, anything uh, that you see in this video, let us know down in the comments if you've ever tried some of these products and uh, if you like them. Cultured butter right here, let's see this one. Butter with sea salt, small batch churned. This is eight ounces. I don't know, I'm not seeing a lot of prices on this stuff, so I'm assuming it's pretty expensive. So I'm just going to go ahead and just say that this is the biggest wine selection on the planet. It may not look like that in this video clip, but they have they have it all, guys. They have a liquor stand as well that carries anything you could ever want. It's just unreal, guys. Unreal. And it may not look like it, but I have... Uh, bring your gym shoes when you come in here because it is a very big store. Like I said before, 200,000 square feet. And uh, yeah, it, it can really... Now, a lot of that is the international market, which we're probably not going to visit today, but I will show you because I want to check out some of the farmer's market and some of the fresh fresh veggies that they have. But yeah, it's just, it's unreal, guys. Unreal. Look at this. They got a bar right here. A bar. A full bar in your grocery store. Look at this. All the liquor, all the wine, everything you need. They even have like a wine... I don't know, guys. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to pan around here. Look, they got Marilyn Monroe right here with that famous scene. And then just it just goes on and on and on. It's just, it's this is crazy. Okay, so just for point of reference, if you come into Jungle Gyms and you want to bypass all of the liquor behind me, which goes back for miles, the big cheese, you want to take a left, and then that opens up into the bakery down here with all the different cakes candies all that stuff we're gonna check out this little guy back here jamming i always think it's funny that 
Jungle Jim sells more of the Weathers original different kinds than the actual Weathers building in the German Pavilion at Epcot down in Florida. It just it's just so much, guys. So much. It is crazy. They even got a lot of the sugar-free ones that people have trouble finding. Got a lot of comments on those on the channel. Just all kinds of candy. Very festive in here, as you can hear Christmas music probably everywhere behind me. All the ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. These are really good, guys. Actually, $2.99. That's the price they are everywhere, but I haven't been able to find them. Me and Jessica love these. Little cream savers. So Elvis here is on a timer and comes on every five minutes. Please be patient. Thank you. And here is the Jungle Gems Elvis. I don't think he uh, I don't think he's talking right now too because of the Christmas music going on, but yeah, some Elvis memorabilia here. All the jelly beans you can stand. You know, I thought coming in here on a Wednesday was going to be a good idea. I will say it's less packed than a weekend day. Way less packed than a weekend day, but it is still very crowded. And I'm here pretty early. Up oh, there he goes. Oh, he is singing. He is jamming. All right. I'm sure that Elvis is some copyrighted music, so we're going to have to just talk over that, unfortunately. But look at all these different candies. Buttered popcorn jelly beans. Where else can you find those unless you order them online? And here are some of their bakery items. Got the different macarons up there. Different little pieces of pie. We've got the cannolis right here. Chocolate cannolis. Peanut butter bomb right here. Got some different eclairs. Look at this stuff, guys. This is amazing. So if you do have to come on the weekend and the line for the bakery gets way too long for you, um, these aren't the same exact products, but I have to say we've tried a lot of these over the years, like the different fudge cakes here. These are amazing right here. You don't have to wait in any line for these. You just These are like grab and go, but they have all different kinds of different things here as well if you're wanting to try some of their different awesome uh, bakery options. What is this? I've seen this one here before. This looks amazing, like a Reese PC brownies here. Oh, it's pretty good. And they have fresh breads everywhere, guys. They make a lot of this stuff in house. They got different pretzels here. I mean, just all different kinds. All different kinds. Pretty cool. Got this right here. Handmade Hearth Bakery. So, yeah, okay. Might not be. No, this one ain't from here, I guess, but a lot of them are. And this is just a taste, guys. They have all different kinds of breads and everything all throughout this entire section. Got the uh, Gerber's Amish Farm chicken over there. Let's go check that out. We always get a lot of comments on the different Gerber's Amish Farm. It's hard to find around here. Uh, Jungle Gems pretty much the only place that sells it. They do have their chicken wings on a bit of a deal here this week. Save a dollar a pound. Gerber Farms chicken wings, $2.99 a pound. That's a pretty good deal for Amish chicken here. And uh, they do have quite a good amount of it here. I remember this being a lot lower the last time we were here. I mean, they don't sell much, but I mean, I think they have, they must have a ton in the back because this is always pretty full. They do carry the Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork products. No hormones added, gluten-free, no MSG, fresh and natural. They have a whole case here of the award-winning Indiana Kitchen products. Guys, these pork chops, best on the planet. I will say, and I know you may disagree with me but Aldi this is what Aldi's pork chops remind me of or this is what all Aldi's pork chops kind of remind me of these the taste the quality really good stuff I almost I thought that maybe Aldi had gotten <laughs> theirs from the Indiana kitchen products but got different ribs right here the vacuum sealed good to freeze well, I don't feel like these are bad prices either. I mean, three eighty nine a pound, yeah, it's it's a little pricey, but nine sixty one for that. I don't feel like that's too bad. These look fantastic. They're a little smaller, but I don't know. It's pretty good. Got the pork tenderloins here. These are four ninety nine a pound, but we've been seeing these four ninety nine a pound pretty much everywhere. Those ribs we were looking at were the Wholesome Farms, not the Indiana Indiana Kitchen Premium here. But they do have quite a bit here. They got the boneless pork sirloin cutlets here. Different 
pork shoulder blade steaks here. Three dollars and thirty-two cents for these. You know, not too bad, and you're getting great quality here. And they have some ground up right here too. You get the ground right here. Ground pork, ninety percent lean. Product of the USA. Four dollars and seventy-one cents for uh, one point eight one pounds. I don't know. I don't feel like that's too bad. That's about the same price as it is everywhere. And here we have the Star Ranch Angus Satisfaction Guaranteed. And it is pretty daggone good, guys. I gotta say, anything I've ever gotten from Star Ranch has always been fantastic. Great quality meat here. Some of it can get a little pricey, but I'll tell you what. I mean, it's all expensive anymore. I mean, any kind of meat products. Check out these steaks right here. Look at these T-bones. T-bone steaks. Uh... This is two pounds, eight ninety nine a pound. Really? Wow. Well, that ain't bad at all. That's cheaper than anywhere I've seen. Let's see this one, eight ninety nine a pound. Wow. I'll tell you what, that's not bad, guys. Must be a little bit of a deal on this. Here we got some ribeyes right here. Yeah, this is kind of pricey. We've got the Choice Angus Beef Ribeye Steak, product of the USA, twenty nine ninety nine. That is a pound and a half. So. Yeah, that is $19.99 a pound, but really good quality, I'll say that. It is pretty expensive, though. Got the different hamburger here. Now, this is 85% lean, $5.59 a pound. I don't feel like that's terrible. We've seen places higher than that for $85.15. And then they have the 80% lean here, $4.29 a pound. Angus, the quality here is fantastic, though. And $4.29 a pound... That's about the same or less than a lot of other places. So we're seeing some, you know, prices in the grocery stores have gotten really expensive for whatever reason. They're they're getting this in at a good price. Somebody had mentioned in the comments that Jungle Gems is one of the only places where you can get good prime meat anymore. I agree. We've seen a lot of places not be able to get it in. I mean, the prices do reflect what you're getting. I mean, they're expensive. The USD ribeye here, $29.99 a pound. That's very expensive. New York Strip, $19.99 a pound. $20.99 a pound for the Tomahawk right here. Um, Filet Mignon, $34.99 a pound. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is pretty expensive. I will say, some of the best looking steaks I've seen. But you're going to pay for it. And as we turn to the right, if you keep going straight, you will run into the registers of where the main entrance is. They have two areas of registers here at Jungle Gems. Um, if you come up on the one just past the meat counter, as we saw, and turn to your right, you will be at the farmer's market part. Look at these pomegranates. These are enormous. $2.99 California pomegranates here. They got the California navel oranges right here. Look at that. 59 cents each. 59 cents each. It's the best deal I've seen anywhere. I don't know what kind of strawberries these are, but they're expensive. $5.99 strawberry uh phrases here these are one pound oh look at that. 5.99 i mean i don't know they must be really good i guess I'm, that's a little expensive somebody was asking in the comments the other day where i found all of the organic girl products well jungle gyms uh sells pretty much all of them ones that you can't find pretty much anywhere you're gonna pay for them though they are 4.99 a pack but they are coming here first. They pay the premium price to get the premium service. And you will pay a little bit more for it, but you're basically getting them right off the truck. Oh, they have these California large navel oranges here. Three for five dollars. Look at these. That is the biggest orange. I mean, that's my hand right up there. I mean, that's as big as a baby's head right there. That, <laughs> that's the biggest look. They even cut them open to see what they look like on the inside. I'll tell you what, they really do the extra work here at Jungle Gems. This place is pretty awesome. And this extends out, I want to say a mile. It's not a mile, but it sure feels like it after you've walked for a while. But guys, the farmer's market here is unbelievable. Here's a 10-pound bag of uh, russet potatoes here, $2.99. $2.99. That's a good deal. Straight from the Buckeye State. All right, Michael Farms, Urbana, Ohio, Urbana, however you like to say it, 10 pounds, $2.99. That's the best deal I've seen in a while. 
I will say, you know, if you're coming to Jungle Gyms, it's good to see, like, the things that you don't see in other grocery stores, like the cheese, the farmer's market, the international market, which I'm just going to kind of pan over and let you see it all, because we're not going to be able to go over all that today. But some of the stuff, some of the regular stuff, some of the things that you see in other grocery stores, yeah, I mean, it almost makes you want to faint looking at some of these prices. $4.99 for some of these Bold House Farms. They're $3.49 pretty much everywhere else, and sometimes you can find them on sale, like buy one, get one free or 50% off, something like that. But yeah, $4.99 for something like that. It's just, it's crazy. I will say that they have a ton of different products. I mean, if you're going to pay $4.99 for the small one here, yeah, $5.99 for, you're paying a dollar for one bigger. So I don't know, different kinds of Honeycrisp apple juice, apple cider, pure apple cider right here. And I like that it's cold. I'm not a big uh, hot cider type person. I like just regular apple cider, cold. Uh, $5.49 for this one, $5.49 for the Honeycrisp as well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of these are some okay deals, but it's things like this. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they might not get a great deal on these kind of things, but carry them because people buy them. Well, we found the gourmet pickle section. They even carry Izzy's pickles. This little German place around here where you can get a good Reuben. Um, and yeah, their pickles are the best. Those are like the sweet pickles, really good. They've got cloths in here, tons of cloths and lots of different, um, that, you know, that's another thing about Jungle Gems is they sell a lot of local farmed out products. So if you wanna try some of the different products that people are making at home and bringing them in here, you know, you can try some of these as well. But yeah, pickle paradise. That's the perfect word for this area. Delicious pickles. It just goes on and on and on, guys. If you look over here, this is where the trucks come in. They literally load it, get it off the truck, put it out here. That's how fresh it is. You know, and that does reflect on some of the prices. You know, some of it can get a little pricey, but here we have some Ohio homegrown apples right here, $1.49 a pound. I don't feel like that is bad at all. They got some of the Cortland apples, Gala Empire apples right here. So if you don't mind picking out your own, they have the loose Russet potatoes here, 77 cents a pound. 77 cents a pound and the red and gold loose potatoes here as well. 99 cents a pound and look at these, look at this. Right off the truck and into your home guys. I mean, these are the best looking ones I've probably ever seen. White, red and yellow onions here. All the ones that you pick out yourself, $1.19 a pound. $1.19 a pound. That is a great deal. I'll tell you what, Jungle Gems is doing a good job of keeping all the produce down here. So, you know, as to where like a lot of products that you find in some other places may be very expensive, these are some really great deals. One awesome thing about the corn here, and yes, it's uh, the Southern Sweet Corn, uh, four ears for $2.99. So it's a little, little pricey, but look at this. They even, they even take the husk off some of these. If you want it like this, it also gives you a look at what they look at inside. Look at this, guys. And keep in mind, it's December. Now they're getting these from the south somewhere, but look how beautiful these look. I love Jungle Gems, even just for the farmer's market here. It's, it's unbelievable. So two pound bag of these white onions, $3.99 isn't the best price, but three pound bag of yellow onions, two for five. Two for five. So you will get six pounds for $5. That is a great deal. And then they have a five pound bag of red onions, $5.99. But do you notice a difference here, guys? Can you see through the camera lens here the, the difference? Look how fresh these are. These are look like they were literally just picked. $5.99 for a five pound bag. Now, do you ever wonder where some of these Chinese restaurants get all their chi uh, fortune cookies? Well, I don't know if they actually make them themselves, but where have you ever seen a huge bag of fortune cookies anywhere i don't think i've ever seen these where you can buy them in a giant bag like this 6.99 eh, if you don't like one fortune you just keep moving on to the next Ooh, mangoes have gone up here too two for four dollars makes them two dollars a piece uh we saw them two dollars a piece regular price at kroger dollar 69 at buyer whatever reason mangoes are going up now i remember these were a dollar 50 the last time i was here a piece and i thought that was very high because we were finding them everywhere else for like a dollar they're going up and we've been hearing of some shortages of mangoes too and we got the general mills band up here 
Lucky Charms guy, the Honey Nut Cheerios guy, and the Tricks all jamming. And as we come past the first part of the farmer's market here, past the band, we'll come into the fresh seafood, which we're going to check out some of that. The farmer's market actually extends out here into the international produce, where you can get produce from all over the world. Don't know if we're going to be able to check out a lot of that, but yeah, let's head that way toward the seafood. As we come across to the left here, I see they got lobster tails, all different kinds of prices. Looks like they have some of it on sale. Got some different crab legs. I'm gonna kind of just kind of look through this. I mean, guys, it's everything you've ever wanted for seafood or anything. I mean, it's just so much stuff here. As we come across the corner here, look at this. Crab legs as big as your arm, guys. Look at that, quite literally, too. They're doing some work over there, so I apologize, it's kind of loud. That is $80 a pound. That is insane, but they have it, you know, I mean, it's it's nice to have options. That's an expensive option right there, but got some different jumbo crab cakes here. Look at these shrimp, guys. $19.99 a pound, but look at these. These are like the kind you find in like a very fancy restaurant. They are enormous. I wanted to show some of the uh, different fish they have here, including shark. So if you like shark, king mackerel, look at that guy. It's like a little mini jaws. They got some different yellowtail snapper, whole red snapper. Look at these. Already. Didn't even have to do any of the work. Didn't have to fish them out or anything. Golden Pompano. Blue Runner. All kinds of crazy fish, guys. Whole flounder right here. Ooh. He looks a little angry. Oh there guys, this place is unreal. It's just unreal how much they have. Anything you can think of. Look at this guy. This is a grouper right here. The whole grouper. Ooh, that's a big one. I got a father-in-law that really likes grouper. But, yeah, I don't know. They are all on ice and ready to be bought up. We got a whole catfish right here. Look at this guy. That is a big one. And they also have live fish. Big, huge fish tanks here. Got some, uh, yeah. Wow. Make fishing easy. I <laughs> uh, don't see how much they are. Oh, okay, these are Root House Equiponics Tilapia. $8.99 a pound for these. Got some jumbo live lobsters down here. It's actually on a little bit of a saving. $16.99 a pound. Down $2 a pound. It can't weigh much more than a pound, if, if that. So, I don't know. Boy, they're kind of aggressive here. And as we had turned to the right past the seafood, we are entering the international market here at Jungle Gems. And it is very crowded back here. Very well themed out. Different German, uh, Hispanic, European, Asian, just everything you can think of is back here. All different food, foods from around the world. Middle Eastern over here. Got the different Eastern European China up here, Great Britain in the back here. We are focused on rice. I'm not going to be able to go over all of these, but if you're looking for rice and you're wanting to stock up on a bunch of rice, this is the place to come here. I mean, they just have bags and bags and bags of it. I will say it's not as much as we're used to seeing. And I know that sounds crazy because of all of it back here. But usually it's stacked sky high. I don't know, guys. I mean, you know, we do have shortages of rice, rice and prices going up. Some of these prices are pretty expensive. Got this medium grain rice, $75.99 for 50 pounds. I mean, that's part of the reason probably why some of it is even still here. They have the Thai jasmine rice here. This is $30.99 for a 25-pound bag. Um, and it looks like there's they're on price magic deals here so they they would normally be more expensive than this which i i can't imagine it'd be more expensive but whew, looks like all of them are on sale though they have the cow roast rice here 63.99 for a 50 pound bag then they have the lucky long grain rice 29.99 for a 50 pound bag that don't sound too bad they got just it, rice for days guys you know, if you're looking for rice, if you're one of the ones that have commented on the channel that you've been seeing some serious shortages, uh, and you know, if you're looking for some, might be worth a trip to Ohio to Jungle Gems. I mean, they have just tons and tons and tons of it. Um, 
but some of this you will pay the price. It's pretty expensive. It was because of a lot of our viewers that have been having trouble finding their kinds of rice and for prices and stuff of why I wanted to come to Jungle Gyms today was to see if Jungle Gyms was getting in a lot of these different rice products that others weren't. I had a feeling, I knew they would, you know, but you know, they'll keep getting it in because they're going to pay the price because they know they have customers that are going to come and pay the price for it no matter what. I mean, they wouldn't sell it otherwise. This one here, $28.99. And, you know, we don't have to go over it all here, but yeah, this is the other side. And it's just tons and tons and tons. So, you know, if you're wanting to stock up on some rice, you may pay a little bit more, but at least they got it in. They do have a lot of these rice options as well. Some of the smaller bags, not going to be able to go over all of them, but wanted to point out that it is definitely worth checking out. And over here, we have what they call the world of ramen world of ramen up here and this is more ramen noodle soups than you've ever seen in your life they have so many different kinds uh, these are from all over the world it's 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 amazing it's amazing you can even get your own Florida sugar cane here look at this I mean they have it all here guys this is just it's unreal I, you know, I've been here a lot, but I'll tell you what, I'm shocked every time I come here. Well, that was our trip to one of the largest grocery stores in the world, Jungle Gyms International Market. So much stuff, guys. We'll have to make another trip up here and cover a lot of the things that we missed today. There's so much. There's so much. You really just have to come see it for yourself. Um, plan on spending four to five hours here, and, and I say that lightly. Uh, there's some people who, who knew me from the channel in here that were talking about uh, how they can spend seven or eight hours in here. And, and I believe you. I believe, you know, um, I, I would bring a little extra money with you. I mean, there's going to be things that you're going to want to try that are going to be a little expensive. I mean, this, uh, as far as like everyday shopping for people, if you want to get some good deals on different produce and stuff like that, we've seen produce get really high in price at other grocery stores. They're getting it directly from the source here. I mean, it's it's coming in, they're putting it out. You know, some of the stuff could be a little pricey, some of it, great deals. It just depends on what time of year, what time of week, what time of hour, I guess. Things seem to change here on an everyday basis, but they are pretty much everywhere. But for the most part, great trip to Jungle Gyms. This place is awesome. Come here without a plan. Don't plan things because your plans are gonna change. You're gonna see things you want. You're gonna see chocolate you want very fancy bakery items candies breads i got these yeast rolls they were three dollars for like seven of them but they are the softest rolls i've ever seen in my life i'm gonna just loves rolls we may have those with dinner later or something but it's just random things that you're gonna want to try that you don't see in other places but guys thank you so much for joining me today a lot of fun it's awesome. It's awesome. You know, if you come to Cincinnati, you have to check out Jungle Gems. You have to. It's amazing. Um, and there's a lot of things to do where you can knock out like a four or five day week vacation here in Cincinnati. We got the zoo. We got Kings Islands, Winterfest. Jungle Gems is a two day visit uh, if you're serious about it. Um, it's amazing. It really is. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Always remember the adventure is out there.